Passion to me is more than what we wear. It's, uh, it's the way you express yourself. It's the way. It's more than what we wear. To me, it's, it's more of an expression how you express yourself. Uh, uh, to me, fashion is like every morning for those who sleep naked or after the shower, if you shower naked, uh, you have a... <laughs> you have a... It's a fresh painting every morning. You have a body ready to paint and to step out. So whatever you choose to wear and the attitude and whatever comes along with it, to me that's fashion. For me personally, uh, fashion is a platform to express personality. Because as you see, each and every single person has their own sense of style. And it's essentially why I use fashion um, for the, for, to express, um, to use it um, with the disability project. Because very rarely do people look at persons with disabilities as individuals who have a personality. Everybody really focuses on ability or the lack of ability, but not really um, looking at them as creatives or creators and how they express that. Now, I would love to respond to your question. You said, if Owino is gone tomorrow, how are these designers going to sell their designs to Ugandans, right? Yeah. Now, I'll give you an example. We're all on Facebook. We're all on Instagram and Twitter, right? Not all of us. Sorry. Okay. Yes. There is a specific percentage of people who are on social media and wake up in the morning and look at their phones and they want to see what's happening. Now, someone like Ross Kasozi will make up a, a, a beautiful dress like this and will give it to somebody who has social media presence. This is an influencer, somebody who is followed by tons of people. And who are you guys? Now, let's say Bettina, me. I'll put on that dress hmm? and I'll take a nice picture with my photographer, Roland. You will love the, the, the picture. You will love the dress. You will look for us. 